Platform capitalism, a term first coined by writer and academic Nick Cernak, attempts to describe a new commodity economy in which a few concentrated companies such as Google, Facebook or Uber act as platforms, business models based on enabling value-creating interactions between external producers and consumers, providing an open participative infrastructure for these interactions and setting governance conditions for them. Technology expert Dom Goodwin observed that Uber, the world's largest taxi company, owns no vehicles, Facebook owns no media, Airbnb owns no hotels. How does this relate to video games industry and how it could help in the fight for better work conditions? Sony's EverQuest is the obvious example here and it fits such model. Publishers created a platform, but it was the player's creativity and in-game intrigue that kept making others to return. What is exercised within the platform, its attraction is purely made by the consumers themselves. The same can be said about many massive multiplayer online games, but even beyond MMORPGs, entire communities around certain games are putting in free labor that is creating profit for the set platform. Fan fiction, machinima videos, frag films, mods were all prohibited at one point until the capitalists realize that it further develops their brand and enhances the earnings. Streamers, cosplayers, grassroots tournament organizers are all providing immaterial labor for certain brands. The relationship between employer and the worker is becoming more and more blurred. Much of what is currently perceived as leisure in fact produces value, which is paramount for the medium's existence. As Alberto, as Alberto Toscano reminds us, the consumer is not just a passive terminus, but a complicit and creative really in the reproduction of capitalism. In the latest wave of concern for games industry workers' conditions, many players were asking themselves, how can we help? It is not only by completely boycotting the game do they have influence, institutional critique can happen within the communities and these will most certainly force the companies to rethink as how can they best please their consumer. The recent boycott of Uber, organized by the Independent Workers' Union of Great Britain, shows that these faced as corporations with such tenuous links to their consumer base and their employees can in fact be challenged. It's high time us gamers learned that. This is Love Left Up, I'm Marianne Dijkelwite, play safely, see you next week, bye bye!